I am with the R&D division of TCS. So we, we are known as TCS Research Innovation. Uh, so at one end, while we look at what are the potential problems the company is working on, we also try to do a lot of things from ourselves. So this particular uh, problem that I am trying to solve here, it is a combination from both ends. At one end where we have active program that works on robotics and aerial drones, uh, there were certain sector of technology that we were not addressing. Um, so um, as part of that, when I saw that, you know, so for example, let me give an example. Uh, so we use aerial drones for a lot of uh, monitoring applications and uh, uh, as well as we use it for, for a lot of search and rescue operations for emergency response and other things. Now the problem that uh, we figured out over there is that uh, the drone technology was mostly very vision domain dominated. When we used to place a camera on the drone and we used to take uh, pictures or record a video and come back and do a post processing. With this technology what happens is that uh, we can pick up features which are non-visual, which are basically offer audio cues. And once we figure out uh, where that audio cue is coming from, that means we are able to locate where that sound source is coming from. We go close to it and then you can see with the cameras now. So what happens that we were able to advance the, the, the capability of a technology that was a very singular vision dominated technology uh, by a couple of weeks because we were able to add an additional sensor to it and do it in a much, much more far, smarter way and by combining information both streams now, right? So that's where the typical innovation comes in. So we call this as the years for the drones. Uh, years, as you understand, is more of trying to say that we are trying to build a, a hearing system for the drones as of now. Uh, we have come up with the in, in initial verification for, for such a technology. Um, at one end, we have to definitely recognize, recognize, recognize this technology because I don't think it is in any form that we can tomorrow, you can put on drone, it starts working straight away. So to make it, so our first plan is to make it highly recognized. We are still working on the platform designs. We are still working on the algorithms design so that it can cover for a large number of corner cases. And secondly, uh, we, we believe, I think, once we are able to tackle the, make the drone work with these two sensors tandem, uh, you may want to integrate more sensing capabilities on the drones. And secondly, you want to make the drones as cognitive as possible. So as cognitive as possible would mean that you'd, you want the drone to be as smart as possible. So, uh, let me let me say a drone has to has to typically you know uh, maneuver in a space that it has not gone before, or typically it has to transverse a long tunnel that it has not seen before. So we as humans also what we do is that when we actually enter a space that we don't know, we probably try to map out the space around. And once we map out map that space around, we are able to navigate it easily. So such type of cognition can only come when you have a stream of sensing sensors coming in, information coming in, and then you have some compute capability over there which can make those decision as to okay if that if that is what I am seeing and this is what I am hearing means this thing. So the inferring systems should come in. So idea is to take where the technology stands as of now uh, to drive an uh, drive its autonomy to a very completely new level.